Howdy champs! My name is Mohidan guys. Uh, today's uh, tutorial is all about uh, creating shapes through ActionScript 3. I looked around on YouTube uh, and I did not find much on this subject. So I thought uh, let the next tutorial be uh, one on creating shapes purely through ActionScript. Okay guys. Uh <coughs> the program that's firing off uh, this kind of uh, an event or this kind of an effect is using uh, not even 10 lines of uh, action script 3 guys the program is uh, right there in front of you in the actions panel I've used a timer and uh, a few lines here and there and guys uh, you could see that wonderful effect that you just saw uh, but the best part was and I realized after I'd actually written the code that the stage is completely 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 empty and have a look at the library it's also uh, absolutely empty there's nothing absolutely in the library the state is completely void of anything but when I hit control enter on my keyboard to test the movie as we call it uh, we see a fantastic effect that never dies that goes on and on and on in an endless loop I'll show it to you once again. So all that that this uh, program written on action script has is one single layer and one single frame which is having uh, not even 10 lines of action script in fact 8 lines of action script and yet the effect uh, is wonderful random circles that appear and disappear every time they have a different alpha every time they have a different color and every time they have a different size and every time we have 15 circles drawn out uh, they get removed from the stage and the next set of 15 circles get added to the stage and everything that is happening in front of you guys is purely through action script as we just saw that there's nothing in the library and there's nothing on the stage all right so <coughs> guys uh, in this part uh, the part number one I'll just be showing you how to create uh, circles and I'll go through it very quickly in fact I'll not be uh, spending too much time in uh, explaining the script to you which I'll be doing in the other part where we'll also be covering how to draw rectangles strokes and uh, rounded rectangles that will be uh, you know another tutorial another part of uh, this uh, tutorial which is creating shapes to action script 3 so alright guys uh, let me dive inside the actions panel and uh, quickly explain the script to you now guys this script is uh, the way that I'll explain the script I'll actually just have a you know uh, have a bird's eye view I'll just uh, browse through it uh, rapidly I'll not be going into the detail which I'll do so in uh, the next part all right guys uh, you can see line number one I've actually created a variable my timer and I'm firing off the timer every uh, 100 milliseconds okay now this script you know may not be easy for uh, those guys who are starting out for but for those guys who are pretty good with action script uh, they should understand this and uh, guys what I've done here is I've added an event listener uh, to the timer and then I'm firing off a function called draw circles and here guys whenever you create a timer you need to start the timer that's mandatory just cannot do without that all right and let's see what the function draw circles does okay guys I've used the graphics class and the line style method and I'm making sure that the line style or the stroke thickness is 2 pixels alright I've also used the graphics class once again to you know use the fill to 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 create the fill inside the circle so through the begin fill method guys uh, when you use the begin fill method notice out here I've used two parameters this is the first parameter and this first parameter is actually the color and notice how deftly how cleverly guys I've used the math.random function you see whenever you use colors in um, action script 3 the code is something like 0x and then you have the hex code could be something like um, a 9900000 or it could be 9999999 or it could be uh, 0x9977 AA whatever that's the way you write the color in um, flash and action script 3 but I've used the math.random function to pass in the parameter for color 
so uh, what I've done here is I've set 0x9 plus math.random into 99999 five times all right this is generating a random number between uh, 0 and 9999 and, nine, and then I'm adding adding it to 0x9 so in the end you get a different uh, random color every time okay now this second parameter is for the alpha guys all right so I'm making sure that my alpha is anywhere between 0 and 1 randomly okay so the begin fill method uses the <coughs> the first parameter as color the second parameter is the uh, alpha of the color being used the fill being used cool now guys in line number seven I've used the draw circle method of the graphics class okay and when you use the draw circle method of the, uh, of the, the graphic class guys uh, what you need to do is you need to pass in three parameters the first one is the x coordinate the second one is the y coordinate and the third one is the um, the radius now as far as the x and the y and the you know the radius is concerned these three numbers again i've generated uh, using random numbers so math.random into 550 ensures that the x coordinate will be any number between uh, 0 5 and 550 maths dot random into 400 will ensure that the you know the y for the circle will be between 0 and 400 and uh, maths dot random into 50 plus 50 will ensure that the radius of the circle will be between 50 and 100 all right so i've used uh, the random math dot random method of the the math class to generate uh, random colors to generate um, uh, random alpha for the fill to make sure that the position of the circle could be anywhere on the stage okay so I've, you know I've uh, actually um, generated the X and the Y coordinates for the circle using the math uh, dot random method of the math class and uh, as well as the radius is again been uh, is at the mercy of uh, randomness right and guys uh, out here you can notice uh, I've used the current count property of my timer and uh, th through the modular operator I'm checking that uh, if the current count is either 15 or uh, 30, uh, 45 or 60, 75 or 90 so basically if the current count of the timer is in multiples of 15 now you can do so using the modulo operator and checking if the remainder is zero so the remainder will be zero whenever the current count is in multiples of 15 if that is so i'm stopping the timer i'm clearing all the graphics using the clear method of the graphics class guys and i'm starting the timer all over again so what happens 15 circles are drawn randomly <coughs> at different positions i'm sorry at different alpha and different colors all right and then once 15 of them are drawn out uh, the timer gets stopped the graphics get cleared and the timer uh, uh, gets started all over again so guys I've actually gone very quickly with my explanation probably some of you have understood probably some of you haven't so I'll, I'll go into the detail in my next uh, part of the same tutorial which is uh, drawing shapes through uh, flash and action strip 3 so guys uh, before I actually terminate this tutorial let me tell you the library is completely completely empty the stage is uh, as always white in color and uh, it's empty as well it just has one single frame and uh, that's all that it has one single layer one single frame control enter to test 15 circles get drawn out randomly with random colors at random positions they get wiped out and the next set of 15 come in and it goes on and on and on endlessly how sweet so the the power of action script is uh, awesome guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys i hope you learned something from it and i hope to see you very soon with the yet another flash and action to three tutorial it's Mohit signing off see you bye bye peace